You are listening to Be Simply. This is Suzanne Toro, a.k.a. She. You can anticipate being inspired, discovering some inner and outer wisdom and inspiration. Without further ado, let's dive into Be Simply. Welcome to Be Simply. This is a Mind You in Food segment. And today on this segment, we're going to focus on actual physical food. Food comes in all shapes and sizes. And today, as we transition from spring to summer and fall to winter here on planet Earth and rock steady at the equator, we are ready to start thinking about how we want to enter that transition. So in this next week, I really recommend you to evaluate where you're at uh, physically and the type of foods that you've been eating. And then I also recommend that you start to pay attention at your local farmer's market, uh, your farm stands, and also at the market, the grocery store that you might go to. And if you have local cooperatives or locally owned grocery stores, please visit those. Uh, You'll find a little bit more love and attention in those uh, fruits, veggies, and products that are there. As you evaluate and start to get used to seeing what's in season, and typically what's in season is right in front of you when you walk in the door or right when you walk into the produce section. In addition to get an idea of this, you can go in to if you uh, abide into any animal products, fish, if you go in there, you're going to see what's seasonally available. Most places are have a, a little bit of a taste of this. Even at restaurants, they're introducing seasonal menu items. And as we enter into summer and fall, summer's more of an indulgent time, meaning there's a lot more uh, fruits and veggies that are available to us. Winter, it's a time that uh, things become more grounded and uh, simplistic. So you can utilize those two methodologies as you enter into those seasons. In addition, uh, you can use these simple principles. In the summer, we want to cool. In the winter, we want to uh, warm up, heat up, And that will also give you some inspirations around your menus and so forth. For those in sunny areas, uh, you can start thinking about how you want to engage with the sun, how you want to protect yourself in the sun. We'll uh, share some additional recipes that you can do for the skin. And I'm going to refer you to an amazing woman, uh, Ray Indigo. She has a company called Flawless Formula. And or formula flawless. I always reverse it. Sorry, Ray. Either way, the link's below. And she has beautiful skincare line, handcrafted, small batches, all organic, and good for the skin. And these are the things we want to counterbalance. Remember that the sun nourishes us. It gives vitality and life to everything, your food, your water, uh, your entire emotional state of being. So find a way to get out in the sun and also uh, educate yourself. You can look up the local um, index, sun index, as to when the sun is strongest and when it's a little bit easier to be in depending on your skin type. But this is the time of the year in the northern hemisphere to really nourish yourself and get outside and feed yourself that way. And then for those in the Southern Hemisphere, if you stocked up in summer, you should be good to go and can uh, abide in green leafies and all that good stuff. So from here, what I'd like to leave you with is on the food portion is because in summer, it's really an opportune time to eat uh, salads, vegetable salads, grilled salads, fruit salads, all those things. This is why it's really important to eat organic, clean food as much as possible. And if you can't access it, there's certain vegetables and fruits that are considered, quote unquote, the dirty dozen. I'm going to link in the article below and the clean 15 where you can feel a little bit 
uh, better about your choice when you go into the market if you can't get organic. And sometimes, you know, especially right now, people are watching what they're spending. They're really inflating the cost of a lot of things. Don't buy into it. Lean into what you need, get what you need, and just think about maybe if you have to cut back on other things, cut back on the synthetic things that you're putting in your life, not the organic, clean food. Um, That article will be listed below. In addition, if you have a clean water source, which I'm going to link a video below that gives you the opportunity to clean your produce very effortlessly. There's a lot of uh, how-to videos on the internet. Uh, There's a beautiful company that I work with uh, called Enagic. And that water genie, I call it, it's a Zen master, uh, clears off all the pesticides without having to do baking soda and vinegar. It has all these uses to keep the home clean and clear. And I'll share that below. It's a great ally to have going into the summer season. Uh, Next week, we'll go a little bit more into why, um, because of nature has already the built-in pesticides on the outside of the vegetables, like a grape, that's the skin has high in salicylates. And so when farmers come in and put chemicals on top of that, it's really uh, toxic to the system. So we will go over a few fun food prep tips. Uh, Right now, your food tip for the day is just to really feel into what you want to consume. And as I mentioned, we were talking about food today. I kind of went everywhere with that. But think about what you want to consume, physically consume in the food part in the market and what you want to drink, ingest, and see, take an inventory of where you're at right now. That inventory will help you understand where you can improve and where you're doing amazing. And pat yourself on the back where you're you're doing amazing. And just add in uh, habits that will support your well-being, and they typically will uh, push the things aside that don't feel well. An example is if you eat a lot of fast food or processed food, if you bring in just good, clean water, it'll start to clean your system and redirect you. If you start to introduce uh, clean, organic uh, vegetables and fruits in your diet, it will start to guide you. Nature's that way. It'll start to guide you in the right direction. So with that sentiment about feeling into what's good, we're going to sign out with a little Kadri Scott, don't think, just feel, and come back. Uh, We'll be doing these segments weekly, little short segments to give you some food for thought. And if you want to engage in a consultation, the links are below for food, water, herbalism, and if you want to study your inner landscape through mind, you, and food, and have a better relationship with yourself all around, that information is below too. Until next time, this is Suzanne signing out with a full heart, a soft gaze, and a deep bow.